on, Metal Art, but what's it got to do with playing basketball? You're getting in condition for our next big game, Curly. Next game? Who are we playing? A bunch of kangaroos? That would be nice. No, we've been invited to the University Space Center to play an experimental game in the anti-gravity dome. Anti-gravity dome? What's that? That's a dome they invented that has the same gravity as the moon. Hey, I'm anti-gravitating off the bus. Stop the bus. <laughs> Gotta have a talk with Granny about these fast stops. <laughs> I'll get your short stuff. Thanks, fella. Okay, Granny. Blast off for the University Space Center. Here come the club clutters now, boys. Now, Fudd, you and Zeb change that road sign before the Space City Rockets bus shows up. <laughs> but here comes the University Space City bus. Now, climb into the bus, boys. Space Center, here we come. <laughs> the club trainers don't know it, but they're going to make us rich. <laughs> You don't have to tell me that. Everybody knows the world-famous Globetrotters. Go on in. Oh! Down there, Sonny. We're the Space City Rockets. And we're here to play in that experimental game with the Globetrotters. Hmm, well, okay, Pass. Thank you, Sonny. Space City Rockets? They look more like the Mammoth Mountain Maulers. <laughs> Welcome to University Space Center, gentlemen. I'm Professor Satellite. We happen to make your acquaintance. Lead us to the anti-gravity dome, Professor. Yeah, we're ready to go. First, you'll have to go through a short training course. Training course? Why? We're already in shape. Yes, but we want you in the same shape as an astronaut. We'll start the training in our giant centrifuge machine. Now, who wants to go first? Looks like fun. Shall we give it a whirl, Curly, old town? Yeah, I'd like merry-go-round. <laughs> I'll start the centrifuge, and we can watch through the windows. Just like Coney Island, eh, Curly? Yeah, hope we can get a brass ring. Man, look at them go. Yeah, those cats are really cruising. Uh-oh, something tells me you're overdoing it. Wrong. Oh, I'd better stop it, quick. <laughs> Metal Curly, are you all right? Sure, didn't affect us at all. Did it, Curly Baby? Not a bit, Metal Lark. Not a bit. And last but not least, this is our giant anti-gravity dome, where you'll be playing basketball tomorrow. Care to try it out? Yeah, man. Come on, team. We gonna get to take any of them training tests? No, we ain't. We are here to find where Great Uncle Silas buried the family treasure. Shucks, it looks like fun. <laughs> Probably just having a nightmare. Okay, okay. We'll come with you. Sounds like someone digging. Why would anyone be digging at this time of night? I don't know, Curly Baby. Come on, let's find out. Put your backs into it, boys. We want to be out of here by daylight. Now, what do you suppose they're digging a hole in the floor for? I don't know, but it doesn't look good. Come on, let's go tell the professor. Hey, Paul, what is that? Sounds like snoopers. 
Nice going, Curly. You ran right into the broom closet. Someone must have put it there when I wasn't looking. Oh, it's two of them there globe troters. After him, boys. He must have seen us digging. Uh oh, that's Scat Man. We've been spotted. Wait for me. Hurry up, Curly. You run like you've got lead in your shoes. That's not lead. That's silver. That's the way I keep my loose chain. Big Curly, get out of it. Over. That was close. Yeah. Let me off at a safer floor. Lead. Don't go away. We'll be back in a moment with more exciting fun. Look yonder. They're going up into that rocket. Come on. We'll go over to the control center and blast him off to the moon. Oh. You can't go in there. They're getting ready to blast off a rocket any minute now. Well, you don't see. Well, how about that, boys? We're gonna get to see a blast off. Wonder if and it's anybody we know, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess this is where we get off. I hope it's a penthouse. I like a room with a view. Mm. If this is a penthouse, I don't like the way it's decorated. Yeah, if I didn't know any better, I'd say it was inside of a rocket. Stand by for countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. What were you saying about a rocket, little heart? If this isn't a rocket, then it's the fastest penthouse I've ever been in. <laughs> What's that? Probably Gip snoring. Oh, snoring. Hey, look, it's a rocket. Take it off. Man, what a sight. Yeah. How'd you like to be aboard that, metal art? Hey, where is Metal Art? He's gone. And so's Curly. Come on, we better go find him. Yeah, they wouldn't want to miss this. Man, it sure is a small world. And getting smaller by the second. How are we gonna get out of this runaway rocket? Well, first of all, I think we better try to get it back down on the floor. Well, so much for up. Now let's try to go down. <laughs> Just like a yo-yo. Fasten your seatbelt, Curly. We're landing on the moon. I hope you remembered to buy a round-trip ticket. <laughs> that landing was rougher than a ride in our bus. I'll never complain about Granny's driving again. <laughs> Attention, everybody. Our rocket has just successfully landed on the moon's surface. Well, we don't have to worry about bringing that one back. It's supposed to stay up there. Don't worry, Curly. You'll be snug as a bug in a rug out there in that space suit. Know any bugs who'd like to trade places? <laughs> Out. Well, I hope the natives are friendly. I wonder how you work this jet pack. Whoa! <laughs> This rocket will have to walk back to Earth. And that's a long walk, baby. <laughs> Everybody up. It's time to play the experimental game. Uh-oh. And it looks like Metal Lark and Curly are still missing. I suppose we'll just have to start the game without them. Well, the rocket's ready to go. You and I are ready to go. All circuits are go. There's only one thing holding us back. What's that? Which one of these buttons do you push to make it go? How should I know? I have trouble flying a kite. I've got an idea. Call the University Space Center and ask them for instruction. Great idea, Metal Art. Hello? Operator, I'd like to place a long-distance call to the University Space Center and charge it. Hello, Space Center? Space Center? 
No, this is Ace Pinto's delicatessen. I've got a special on salami this week. Salami? Do you deliver? Do you deliver? Will you quit fooling around? Give me that phone. I'll give the launch and instructions myself. But you don't know anything about rockets. So I don't know anything about astrology either. That figures. Stand by for blast off. Standing by for blast off. React the reactivator. Reactivator, reactive. Close the blue circuit. Blue circuit closed. Open the red circuit. Red circuit open. Activate the solar node. Solar node activate. What I say? What I say? I don't know. I don't know. If you globetrotters will float down here, we'll get the game started. We're floating, Professor. Who's floating? I'm sinking. Now, where are the Space City rockets? We gotta make you boys look good in that game so no one will get suspicious. <laughs> now, to give you a little extra edge, chunk a bunch of these nuts and bolts in your shoes so you won't float around so much. And while you're a plan, I'll keep up with the digging. Ah, here come the Space City rockets now. How come they aren't floating like we are? Yes, they're just a bunch of left foot. Are you gentlemen ready? I'm ready. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Play ball. Oh, baby. Don't worry, team. I've got them covered. I shall not pass. Anyway, he didn't get past me. We'll be right back with more laughs. At this rate, we'll be back on Earth before we know it. At this rate, we'll be back before we left. Sure is getting hot in here. Yeah, you better turn on the air conditioner. Now, let's see. Which one is the air conditioner? Well, I'll try them all. Nice play, Curly. Not only did you cool us off, but you headed us for home. Oh, it was not that. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere, Pam. Yeah, keep your nose headed downstream. <laughs> Uh-oh, here comes... Trouble. Come to pass. <laughs> That's the end of the first half. Fifteen minutes rest, and we'll start the second half. Fifteen minutes rest? The way we're playing, we'll need a week. Yeah, look at the score. Globe Trotters double zero, Space City Rockets 42. It would be a different story if Manilock and Curly were here. Hey, what's that funny looking thing floating up there? I don't know, but it's headed this way. Looks like something from outer space. Stand back, everybody. There's no telling what kind of horrible creatures are inside that thing. Who's a horrible creature? Yeah! What kind of welcome home is that? Metalark! Curly! Where have you two been? Would you believe we've been to the moon? Moon schmoon! Now that you're here, maybe we can get back in the game. No problem for us astronauts. Right, Curly? Right. Let's blast off, Metalark. All right, gentlemen. Are you ready to start the second half? Ready! Man, I'm always ready. Lay
Warriors win 76 to 42. Congratulations! Your contribution to the advancement of our space program is highly appreciated. Don't mention it, Professor. We're only happy to do our little bit. Yeah, our Pa will be really proud of us. Speaking of Pa, where is he? He should have dug his way to the fortune by now. Oops! I must have taken the wrong turn down there, Summers. Guards, grab that man! We didn't mean no harm. We just come here to get what was rightfully ours. Yeah, the family fortune was buried right here before you built this place. Ah, so that's what it was. We found an old chest when we were building here. It's right here in this closet. And here it is. Yeah, before I open it, I think the Globetrotter should get half of it for all the trouble we caused them. Right, boys? Right, Pa. Yeah, they earned it. Well, here it goes. Why, it's a jack in the box. Tom, fortune. What did your great great uncle do for a living? Entertain at birthday party? <laughs> great great uncle Silas always said a good laugh is worth a million. That's what we always say, right, fellas? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in your jammies. Next up, TV Land takes you to the Stone Age, where dinosaurs rule on Land of the Lost, here on TV Land's Super Retrovision Saturdays. Oh, try to teach you, oh, oh, yeah.